The Jordan One. Walk. Hello, and welcome to the Walleezy YouTube channel. <sighs> Today, we are going to be discussing why this shoe right here, the Jordan One Gatorade Grape, is a really good entry level Jordan. Because listen, this is a fire shoe, and you cannot tell me it's not. This shoe, look at that, look at that. It's so sick. It's so sick. Look in there. Look in there. There used to be a Gatorade logo in there. You know what's in there now? The sweat from my feet because I'm out here grinding. I'm just kidding. Um, so basically, I got these for like a hundred and like something like 120, 130 dollars. The leather on these, so supple. It's so nice. The freaking fit with the ankles right here, minty, minty. So yeah, basically, I'm just going to do a review of these and tell you why these are a good entry-level Jordan. Okay, so if you just look at these shoes, there's a lot of cool details. You got the Gatorade lightning bolt right there, which is super sick. You got the Air Jordan logo. Look at that. So you got the tongue right there. You got Nike Air. That's sick. That's sick. On the inside, you got, it says, uh, be like Mike, Michael Jackson. And then you got the perforations right here, just like every... Jordan they all have that and it has creased a little bit but to be honest I've been wearing them for two years and I've worn them in the rain probably four or five times and they've not even that creased so yeah uh, okay and then we're gonna look at the sole right here we got Gatorade look at that look at that that's sick and yeah basically these are just these are just really good Jordans for how cheap they are I mean they're not cheap any normal person uh, spending $130 on a shoe would be like expecting a really nice dress shoe, but this is not that. But any sneakerhead that's spending $130 on the shoe, especially this quality and level of a shoe, would be like, that's a steal. I get compliments on these shoes almost every time I wear them. Granted, I wear them on college campus most of the time, but you know. Alright, so first things first, we're going to try these boys on. Now, I've been wearing- oh heck, I, I don't know how to put on a shoe. Help. Um, I've been wearing these for about two years, so they're pretty worn in. They were stiff when I first got them, but now the leather is worn in. Uh, and I have not treated these, I've treated them well. I clean them every time I get them in the rain, which is more often than I would like. And I, um, like don't step in mud on purpose or anything. And yeah, I just try to take care of them. I don't care about creases though, because here's the thing. These shoes are really nice because if you look there, you can't see any creases. Why? I think it's because the leather's purple. I don't know. Um, I don't know how to tie my shoes. Give me one sec. You do the loop-de-loop -loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. Over and right. Up and down. The amount of Spongebob songs I know is... It's, it's infinite. It's, it's a lot. Oh, yeah. These are Jordan 1 Grape Gatorade, and I will show you the box. Excuse me, Kirby. Excuse me, buddy. Uh, NMD box. Get that out of here. Um, yes, we got this sick box that it came with. It's textured on here. I don't know if you can see that. It's very nice. Um, it's got that on the side. It's got that on the side. I think I, I think I never made a video on these shoes. I should have. These are some of my favorite shoes. I really like high tops because of the way they fit. They're nice. We got that on the inside. It's all shiny. It's very nice. Came with this sick towel, which I don't really know what to do with because like I don't, don't play sports and I don't really want to ruin the towel. So it's just kind of here. Um, anyways. Oh, 130. I'm trying to get it where it doesn't show my address. Yeah, I paid $130. Um, that was a good deal. It comes with a sick wrapping paper, and the inside of the box is just like any other inside of a box. It came with all of this. Uh, this was on the shoe when I got it. I took it off because it looked kind of stupid, because it was just like flopping around. It was annoying. Uh, also, look, if I know this is making some people cringe, but... They don't crease like they do, but look, you you can't, I mean, you, you can, but if I straighten it out, you cannot see any crease. And I've been wearing these for two years and they're just not crease. Like I could probably resell these right now. Nine out of 10 used, wait, eight out of 10 used condition. 
and they would be they would be pretty good. I could sell them for quite a bit. And I just oh, this bright as crap. And I just think that's sick that these shoes kind of held up for so long. Also, you can see my setup in the back. Video coming on that if you guys want it. I don't know if you do, but there you go. Uh, also, I'm not sure what type of content to make, boys. I enjoy making video game, car game edits, but they don't do very well on the likes or views. So apparently people don't like watching them. I might keep making them occasionally, but I need to come up with a main type of content because here's the deal. I wake up every day and I'm like, I don't even know what type of content I want to make. But the thing that seems to be consistent is you guys like my vlogs. Why? I don't know. Did I just drink a rain and have 300 milligrams of caffeine coursing through my veins so I'm super hyper? Perhaps that may have happened. But here's the dealio. I need you guys to comment down below. Tell me what type of content you like or like the video so I know that you like vlogs, okay? I need to know if you guys like vlogs or not. I gotta know. I gotta know so that I can have a consistent type of content, put out better stuff for you guys. There will be occasional game streaming. Once we get uh, Starlink, I can actually stream because my internet here is one megabyte per second upload because frickin' wind stream. Uh, but yeah, there you go. All right, advertisement time is over. So we're gonna get right into the video. These, mad comfortable. Pretty cheap, 130 for brand new pairs. I'm sure you could find a used pair. Uh, for probably 90 I think the value has gone up since I bought them two, two years ago, two and a half years ago about then. Uh, I got them at the same time I got my cream Yeezys, so a while ago. I haven't really bought any mini shoes recently, but yeah. Um, the leather is actually really nice. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Like, it's actually really nice. It was a lot nicer before I got them in the rain several times, but it's still really nice. Um, the ankle support on Jordan 1s, it's, it's not underrated, but people don't talk about it very much. Like, it's so nice if you tie them properly. You gotta tie them properly, though. The laces are super long, so it's kind of like... You got these big gift wrapping bows on them for some reason, but... You know, they're basketball shoes. What are you gonna do? Um, and I don't play basketball, because I suck. But, I do like wearing sports shoes. I wear knit running shoes all the time, because they're mad comfortable. I wear these, I wear a lot of other high tops. I wear skating shoes, but I actually skate. So I've skated in these before, but not very much because if you scrape leather on the ground, not a good day. Um, so yeah, uh, these are very comfortable. They're cheap. I think they look really good, personally. Purple is my favorite color, but I think they look really good. There's also orange and blue available. So those also look really good if you're more into those colors. But now we're going to take them outside so that we can get some vanity shots. Next one. Goodbye.